वेलकम फ्रेंड्स इन अवर एस एस आई एस टूटोरियल इन दिस सेक्शन वी आर एक्सप्लोर मोर अबाउट ऑब्जेक्ट टाइप्स वेरिएबल्स सो एज यू नो डेट एस एस आई एस इज ए फुल्ली ग्राफिकल टूल टू क्रिएट योर एस एस आई एस पैकेज टू मीट योर बिजनेस रिक्वायरमेंट so in this section we are focusing on variables so in ssis there are two type system generated variables uh, which are generates when we are going to create any package uh, number 2 we have a user defined variables in user defined variables uh, uh, we have already defined a single valued variables now we are talking about uh, more about on object types variables so what are object types variables uh, object types variables are that variables which are containing more than one values so how we are capture these value in ssis and how we are going to use further these value in our incoming component so we are going to focusing on this for example we have uh, the data like this now you can see we have the, we have a runtime table and uh, this table is returning more than one value so we are going to capture this value in our object type variables and then use this value into our script task so first of all uh, we are going back to our package and we are going to use our execute sql task and we have also to, uh, talking about execute sql task in ssis in our previous videos so in this section what we are going to do here we are going to read these values from the database and execute sql task is a very helpful in this manner to get and pass the values uh, i mean to interact with the database regarding parameters and returning values from the database so right click it's just going to edit window and we have already a connection for uh, for our local database now our real set should be more than once then we are using fully real set and we are just copy this script from here and paste into the sql statement of Execute SQL task. Okay. Now execute our package. Okay. It is returning error because we have set the real set, fully real set, but not passing any variables like this. You can see. Okay. Because row set is not. Uh, going to be used over here so we are going to add some variables first of all we are going to use that list list it would be the object type name next we are going to use depth name it should be string type then we are using dept id this should be string type okay now we have declared two three variables over here and go to our execute sql task Uh, editor window and in the result set what we are going to do we are going to add because we are using object more than one value it should be zero value and the name of the department lead that is our object type variable that's why and click on ok button now just execute our package again now you can see error has been gone so Uh, if we are getting any value from the database we need to get this value into variables with the help of execute sql task now we 